Hello. I think that there's a lot of power in going back in time and having a look as to when things started um, and, and how that influences us today. It amazes me, say, around Christmas time, how many people stress about delivering Christmas cards when really the first Christmas card was only invented in 1843. It's not that long and it, do it means that it hasn't been around all this time, so it, it's not something that has to be done if it doesn't fit in with your life. In the same vein, I think it's really interesting to realize and to remember that the eight hour workday, um, that that only came about because of the industrial revolution, that it hasn't been along, um, around for as long as we think in our everyday life that, well, this is the way it is. This is the way things are done because it's the way things have always been done. The truth is, is that it hasn't always been done. So we do have the power to change things and to make things as they suit us, as we want to. And that's what I love helping people do, helping them find systems and helping them find the courage to live life their way and to find that balance within themselves um, and across the different levels and passions that they have. So remember that things that when you look around, they're not always, they haven't always been this way and they won't always be this way either. We're in a time of change right now and I think it's a real time where we can take power in, um, in, in our productivity and in what we want to achieve. How we work and how we deliver work is also changing thanks to COVID and lockdowns and working from home, it's all changing, which also means that we need to change how we do things and we need to adapt and do things differently. A lot of people have had some good practice over the last year, but many more are still finding their feet or they've, um, you know, been, they have a new job now or they're starting a business, they're starting down a new path. They've been diagnosed with, um, with autism or ADD or something that's just going to be changing something for their lives and for themselves. So having a look at how we do things, why we do things, and then looking more broadly at society and why we do things is really a powerful move. Knowledge is power and I think looking at why we do things as a society really can help us look at uh, how we might want to change things for ourselves and how we might want to redirect our energy and our time. So have a think about what it is that you would like to change in your life and if your life was set up exactly uh, as you wanted it, what would change, what would be different if it was all for your benefit and it was all for you rather than just because it is what you see around you. I hope that's been thought provoking and I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please reach out to me, comment below or, or message me. I would love to hear from you. Bye.